Google's theological definition of salvation is deliverance from sin and its consequences. Now, this video could spider into countless topics and questions, but let me try to keep this as focused as possible. Salvation is the unearned deliverance from eternal damnation that is given from God through the death and the resurrection of his son Jesus to us, his children. Now, the Bible in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 9 says that for God has not destined us for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ who has died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, meaning whether we're dead or alive, we will live together with him. Salvation is required so that our sin is forgiven. Now, sin is the internal thought, of course, and the external action that keeps us from an eternity with God. Romans chapter 6, verse 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gracious gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Gracious equals grace, and grace equals unmerited, which in turn means not deserved. Though we don't deserve salvation, we were given it because of love, not because of emotion. Now, most of you, you've been to a church service, and, and after a sermon, a pastor's going to do an altar call that asks if anyone would like to give their life to Jesus. <laughs> and Sunday after Sunday, altars across America, they're full of folks giving their life to Christ for the first or, or the infinity of time to be saved. But in order to be saved, there must be a repentance. There must be a change of mind about what sin is and to complete what Romans 10 asks. And it says, confess with your mouth Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and you will be saved. For with the heart a person believes, resulting in righteousness, and with the mouth we confess, resulting in salvation. Now to cap this off. The shedding of the blood of Jesus changed the trajectory of our eternity. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 22 says that all things are cleansed with blood and without the shedding of blood there is no forgiveness. Jesus shed his blood once and for all. Not repeatedly because we have this emotional breakdown because we feel like we let God down. But if you confess and repent, salvation is yours from God through Jesus once. Now, I'm positive you're going to have some additional questions about salvation simply because of what you've learned in the past or because this video was focused on what salvation is, or at least I attempted to keep it as focused as I possibly could. But don't be afraid to ask your questions in the comments and we're going to get some correct answers out to you. We'll get a little bit more insight and, and just, you know, a greater co conversation might go down uh, due to some of your uh, comments or questions. Hope you had an excellent evening, man. Salute.